I'm not sure if you can see me there, but yeah, we've bought a hedge cutter. Um, it's a machine we've kind of been toying around with having for a few years now. Um, primarily since we sort of changed our farming system to be spring block carving. Because all of a sudden we didn't have any autumn cereals to plant. We didn't have any um, much autumn work to do at all really. Um, there's no cows carving. So it's pretty much milking, bit of fertiliser and that was it for the autumn, in the autumn, sort of after September through September, October sort of time. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can actually see me there, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so some of the sort of three or four years we've been playing with the, around with the idea of having our own hedge cutter. And we decided this year we'd give it a go. Um, so we've bought a Bomford Falcon 5.5 Evo. It's a second hand machine. It's four years old. Um, it's an ex-contractor's machine, I think. It's very tidy for four years, having done four years of the contractor. They've obviously looked after it quite well. It's, um, yeah, it's a nice hedge cutter. I think 5.5 stands for the amount of reach that it's got. I'm not sure if you can see me there. I'll just turn it a bit. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you can see me. Yeah, it's, so 5.5 is how far it'll reach. Um, it's got a standard head, which is four foot. A four foot cut, which is, I think is like 1.2 meters. And yeah, that's about all really. Um, I don't really know much else about it other than it's got electric control box here on my on my left hand here. So you've got a little um, stubby little um, control lever that takes care of um, all the arm movements. So you can pick your arm up and down, in and out, sort of closer to you, further away, and then you can swivel the head then by swiveling the little joystick. It's also got a, um, a power slew, which turns the whole arm round straight behind the tractor. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice hedger, I suppose. I don't know. I know no difference. It's the first time I've ever owned a hedge cutter. Um, father owned one years and years ago when I was a kid. That was what happened to be a bombfoot as well. Um, that was a bombfoot. I think it was a bombfoot farm trim at the time. I think it only had like a three and a half meter reach or three, four meter reach or something. It's quite a small one. But it did the job for him. And then, I don't know, did, because he was growing cereals and things, did uh, hedge cutting sort of. Yep, past the tree. All right, we'll back up now. We'll back up down to uh, finish the next bit because I think the cows are going to have to come in because it's a bit wet. It started raining now. And I'm guessing they're going to want to come in from the field. We let them out this morning just to get the yard work done. And uh, we'll probably have them back in now. It's coming up to dinner time. It's seven minutes to one. So we will probably have them in. If they've all crowded together, that is. If they're all out lying down, I'll probably leave them out. But uh, there we are. Yeah, so hedge cutter. Yeah. Not more you can say about it really, hedge cutter, hedge cutter I suppose. Um, we were sort of, oh yeah, they're ready to come in now. Back to bottom gear. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but just look behind me the cows are. And they look like they are ready to come in. Um, so this is actually the first time I've used the cutter this week. Simon's been on it the rest of the week. He's had about four days on it and he's so uh, he's done the majority of the hedges and I have to say he's done a bloody tidy job as well. It's the first time he's ever used a hedger and this morning 
is the first proper time I've used a hedger as well. So I'm still learning the controls. I keep when I go to twist the head, I mean turn the head that sort of way. I keep moving the um, twist the joystick the wrong way. But I suppose that's something that'll come more more you use it, the easier that'll get. But it does make you appreciate the skill of the drivers who do this day in, day out. Especially like the verge cutters in the summer, the speed they go, blimey. It's not an easy job. And it also makes you appreciate people like HS Ag, who just chat away real easily and do a fantastic job on hedge at the same time. It's amazing how you can just t chat away really easy to the camera and uh, yeah, still do what he does really. I mean, I've been on this about an hour and a half, two hours now, and uh, I've only just turned the camera on. Um, so I don't know if I'll be trimming this afternoon, this might come to pour with rain. And once it rains, all the bits and pieces stick to the windows and it's really hard to see out. Or you've got to get out and clean them all the time. And also, it's qualifying for the second lot of Valencia on BT Sport, and I wouldn't mind going and watch that if the kids will let me. They've probably had enough telly this morning anyway. So I'll check a bit of an outside shot up now, and the outside shot is of Simon trimming yesterday doing a really tidy job fair play to him but yesterday would have been his third no fourth day on a hedger and not a full day then really because we use it for a few hours between milkings so yeah it's uh, impressive what uh, how quick he's picked it up fair play to him So if I get the opportunity to use this again, which I might not, because Simon seems to be quite happy doing this job at the minute, but if I do get the opportunity to use it again, I'm sure I'll try and get some other outside shots and things. But I think I need a good bit more practice before I do. <laughs> this is, I'd say this is an easy sort of cut. I'm cutting along the side of a bank here. So I know that uh, the bank itself will guide me. I think it's another matter altogether if you are trimming. If you're trimming a hedge properly to keep it level and true, which I don't think uh, I'm going to tackle just yet. So, um, yeah, like I said, if I do get a chance to use the trimmer again, I'll bring it along for the ride, but for now, it's our hedge cutter. Yeah, so for now, I'll just, uh, right, so you can have a bit of a closer look at the hedger, there it is, that's the head arm which I think is like classed as a parallel arm and then let's have a look at it there that's the tank linkage pump and all so there we go yeah I'm gonna go edge cutting and if I'm completely honest I think if I can I'll leave it to Simon because he makes it look a lot easier than I am so thanks for watching We'll see you again. Bye-bye.